What's going on guys? So, I haven't done a video in absolutely ages and ages and ages. I'm sorry about that. Um, it's busy, it's hard to find time. I'll try and do it, lots more videos though. So, I've been struggling for ideas, so if you have any ideas, please try and put it down in the comment section below. Thanks. So, today we are going to be reviewing the new mobs in Minecraft. They're not new as such, it's been in quite a while, but it's the 1.11.4 update mobs. So we'll go to creative, because you can only get them in creative. Let it just change. Continue. Show coordinates. I'm just going to do the basics. You don't need it, but I'm just going to do Always day, okay, and I'll just I'll just start now. So sorry it's being a bit slow at the moment, but it should should soon speed up. There we go. Look at him, he's one of the new mobs, so I'll be showing about them and explaining a, ta a little bit about them too. So, if you can see there's like a, a tower in the background, that's where one of the mobs that I'll show you spawns. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and kit myself in... Diamond armor. Just, just because some of these mobs can be quite powerful. I probably won't go into survival. I may. Diamond sword. There we go. Okay. Um. Now let's get the mob back. So they spawn naturally. Or at least most of them spawn naturally, the ones I'm going to show you. So the new ones are the Ravager, newest, the Pillager, and the Wandering Trader. So let's just go out of this. Oh look, great, lucky us we spawned in an island with a ocean monument there. Cool. Maybe it's best if we stay on the island actually just so nothing happens. So I'm gonna spawn in this first one. It's called the Ravager. It's a bit like a big ball. So let's go ahead and spawn you this in. There you go. So the Ravager, I think, is bad. It will take. It's quite strong and quite powerful. Look, let me show you. It drops a saddle when defeated. So you could. That's quite useful to use. I wish it dropped this kind of kind cool armor it's wearing but if it doesn't it doesn't really matter there we go so give us the xp and there's the saddle so as you can see it's pretty strong and it's hitting with a diamond sword so yeah pretty strong now let's go on to the next mob a pillager it is like the same as a ra ravager it looks quite a lot like a villager but they actually attack villagers. So let's spawn one in. This one has an enchanted bow. Oh. I spawned two. Cool. So this one has an enchanted bow. You can see even though you're in creative, they'll still aim it at you. Look at him. Okay. So they're quite strong too. About the same strength as villagers. So let me just... But it's strange that they actually attack 
villagers. There we go. And if you if there was enough of these, I've actually seen them overpower an iron golem before. So that's pretty cool. It is very rare to get more than an enchanted bow, so sorry, enchanted crossbow. Crossbows are also in your should probably show you them. So pretty strong, nowhere near as strong as the Ravager. It was actually called the Pillager Beast before, but they changed the name quite recently. Because so, I mean they're all recent, but well, well, after it was in, after a few days, they changed the name. This next one's called the Wandering Trader, and it spawns in naturally anywhere. So it is like chuck my sword out, why don't I? It is like a villager in like a cool costume who has two uh like llama llamas and there's something else that's new i'll show you when i go into survival because i will go into survival now um you can trade with him as normal normal villagers he does quite normal trades and you have that he's as strong as a normal villager too and the interesting thing i want to show you is with his llamas afterwards Okay, first one down. Okay, so I'll just change this to survival quickly. Let me just put some of this stuff away. We don't need it. I think I'll get myself a bow and arrow because those. Those pillages are pretty tough, and I want to be able to kill them pretty quickly. I'll just go with normal arrows for now. This is something new to me, so let's put these arrows back. We do not need the arrows spread out over every slot, so okay, but there we go. Now let's go to the chat and type in the survival command. So slash game S survival enter. Okay, so now it's row four. I'm holding an arrow. It's pretty cool. I didn't mean to go into chat. Sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. So let's spawn in the Ravager first. So it charges at me, does a hot worth of damage every time it attacks, so it's pretty powerful. Give me my diamond sword. I'm just going to escape for a second. Grab my sword back so I can try and hit it. So it does quite a lot of knockback damage as you saw. Give myself some air and come back into the land. Oh. So it's pretty darn powerful. Come at me again, big boy. Are you angry? Are you angry? Die. There we go. So very powerful, very uh, Attack likes to attack. I'll show you a pillager now. So charge it up, fires, charge up, fire. Okay, great. Let's just attack you because you are very mean. There we go. 
Oh gosh, stop firing. The annoying thing about them is they will not stop firing until you die. Until they die. If you don't manage to kill them. Thank you. But they're, they're okay on durability. Now let's spawn one on trader because I want to show you what happens. So you spawn one in. Um, and I'll hit one of these guys. Look at it. Look at it. It fires something at you. Which is pretty cool. And it just walks off like nothing happens. It fires at you. Look. Watch. Just get this one to fire at me. What do they fire? They just fire like a like a mist almost, and it hits you. And it gives you about half a heart's worth of damage. Yeah, half hearts worth of damage. Not much, but you wouldn't want to be killing lots of them at the same time. So that is the new mobs in Minecraft. Do you, I will go and explore the the um, ocean monument out there. I didn't think I was going to be this video, but cool, I get to explore an ocean monument now. Let me just go back into creative. Sorry. Oh, by the way, um, in one of my other videos, I asked, who is your favourite YouTuber? Better be me now. Better be me. It won't be, though, because I don't post that many videos that often, so. There we go. So, back in creative, let me get rid of the crossbow, and the saddle, and the sugar cane, and the spawn eggs now, because we won't need them. And try to put that back. I'm just going to collect it up a bit so it's my, not cluttering so much in my inventory. Now I'm going to get a potion of night vision because if you look in the sea right now, I'm going to go eight minutes, I think. If you look in the sea right now, pretty dark. Drink a potion of night vision, boom. Just fly over to the temple. So, ocean monuments are guided by two types of creature: the guardians, which was these. Here. I'm sorry for the squid, because guardians like killing squid. So you use the main door. It's pretty confusing if you do, but okay. it's best really to tunnel through the roof, but. So that's a guardian, a normal guardian. They're pretty small, pretty powerful. You're not getting out, Mr. Guardian. There we go. They drop fish and fish. Pretty boring drops, actually. This can be very confusing. So I am just going to mine through the wall because otherwise I'll probably get lost. Can't be here. No, I never did. So inside the treasure of a temple, sorry, ocean monument, is right here. They have four gold blocks in them. And each gold block is nine gold ingots. So diamond blocks, nine diamond ingots, diamonds. Diamonds don't go into ingots. So look, one, two, three, four, sorry, eight. Eight they have. So that's the treasure of these. So if you can drink a potion of uh, water breathing and come into here, then that's good. It's not actually directly above the main thing, strangely enough. Now let me show you the Elder Guardian, which is this bad boy here. So that's the it. Sorry, that's the guardian with the spikes out. This will be the elder guardian. Uh, 
it is way bigger way more powerful and I definitely wouldn't want to mess with it as much so let's see if we can get it out into the open ocean or does it like just flying around in here okay let's grab my diamond sword oh so it it's bigger, one thing, more powerful, and drops. Excuse me, personal space, mister. And drops a lot more valuable items than fish. Prismarine crystals. Totems of undying, they're very useful. And you don't die. You died yet. Wish. Wish this would be even harder if this guy was holding a totem of undying, wouldn't it? Come on. It's probably because he's in blocks. Just destroy all these blocks. Okay. I don't want to eat fish for my dinner, please. Just mine all these blocks. So you can see the size difference between them. Let's carry on hitting this guy until you die, because you're annoying. I want to see what you drop. There we go. They also shoot these kind of cool beams from their eyes, which give you mining fatigue. There we go. Oh, he dropped sponge. Not very useful. Well... Thank you for watching this video, it may be a bit boring, hopefully not. Got to show you some new mobs, so that should have been pretty cool. Uh, I don't want it to get too long, so that should probably be all from me. Bye!